Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today is going to be all about Natasha Denona because I have two of her new minis that recently landed in my stash. I picked up her mini uh, My Dream palette. This little palette, let me give you a close up look at it. This little palette is going to contain five shades. It retails for $27. There are four new shades and one pre-existing shade. And I believe the pre-existing shade is this one right here. I'm also going to show you a quick comparison to her larger or her midi size of the My Dream palette. This one was released last year. And here they are next to one another. So yeah, they're different. This is definitely way more neutral. Obviously, it doesn't have the same amount of shades. This palette over here, I believe, is still in stock and it retails for $67. Uh, Natasha Denona also dropped a mini My Dream blush. This looks really cute. This one retails for $20. It looks like it's a blush kind of highlighter combo. I do have a little bit of bronzer on my cheekbones, but we're going to apply all of this together. Uh, I want to also point out that I'm wearing the lip gloss from the My Dream collection that was released last year and I'm also wearing the lipstick. This is a pre-existing shade that you can get without this specialty packaging. This is limited edition packaging and the shade of course is called Natasha. So we're going to be doing two looks today. I am getting ready to go to work and I'll let you uh, choose in the comments or guess in the comments which look I'm going to be going to work with because I'll obviously have to remove one of them and then reapply whichever I'm keeping and head on out. If it is your first time here on my channel, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and I love trying out new makeup. I am primarily a new makeup review channel, but I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos, all that good stuff. If that sounds great to you, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a big fan of Natasha Denona, just the way I am, please give this video a big thumbs up before you go. As usual, everything that I'm wearing will be linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links, so if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. I want to point out that I am still... I'm on day two of me wear testing this one from e.l.f. It is their new e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. And I don't think it's looking especially great. I wasn't a fan of the first one, and it doesn't appear to be that I'm a fan of the second one. But we're here for Natasha Denona. So if you guys want to see how these mini products are going to perform, keep on watching. Okay, so let's start applying the blush first. I'm just going to sweep across and tap, and I'm going to use my Sigma F12. I like that it's a little a little trio. It kind of reminds me of the Bobbi Brown face brick. And on those bricks, you get like five or six different shades and they're all just like row by row. They're really nice. If you've never tried a Bobbi Brown face brick, I would totally recommend checking it out. Very easy to use. They come in so many different shades as well. But oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking how quick and easy it is to apply. You might not even feel the need to add highlighter because you do have like this highlighter shade right here. And you can see, you can just get that, focus on that one and drag it upwards. Oh yeah, I had a highlighter here in front of me and I was gonna use that, but I think I'll refrain and just use this palette. That was fast and easy and that looks great. Okay, now we're gonna start creating the first of two looks. I just wanna point out my makeup. Look at this, look at how cakey it looks. And I literally just applied it like 30 minutes ago. Not having, not gonna have a good makeup day, hoping it kind of just melts into the skin a little bit later. So I think, um, you know what? I'm gonna try this shade right here. This shade is called uh, Balance. Wait, is it? This one over here, no, the shade is called Loyalty. And I'm gonna take that on a refer max and I'm gonna run that in the crease. I have primed my eyelids, whoa, okay, that's darker than what was in the pan. But um, I did prime with a Profusion eyeshadow primer. Let me know if you guys picked this one up. Has it arrived yet? I think some of you said you saw it in your stores. My store didn't have it, and I checked Kohl's, they didn't have it, but um, I got mine from Sephora. I ordered it when it was a Rouge exclusive, 
So I got it uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, and it is Thursday morning when I'm filming this video, probably Friday morning when you are watching. Yeah, I like that. I like that color a lot. That makes an easy color just to throw in a crease and go. Now I'm going to go into the shade right here. The shade is called Balance, and I'm going to take that on my BK211 and just focus it out here. I'm so glad we got a deeper shade in this palette. It's going to make it very versatile, very travel friendly. Oh yeah, I like this shade. I like this shade a lot. Now you could pack this shade all over the lid. I'm going to go back in with the first brush and first shade. But you could pack this darker shade all over the lid and just do something really nice and smoky. Go back in with the second shade a little bit. Alright, now I think I'm going to do... Let's try this one. Let's do this shimmer shadow. This one is called Nurture, and I think this is the repeat shade, if I'm not mistaken. Using my damp Morphe M124 to apply. So basically what I do is I pick up the shadow with the dry brush, and then I just spray it with a little MAC Fix Plus after the product is already on the brush, and that just helps to um, intensify the shimmer and also make it adhere a little bit better to the lid but really it's more for intensifying that is so pretty look at that that is so quick and so easy this is going to be like the mini uh nude palette i love that palette i'm on my second one and that thing travels with me wherever i go just because it's like a one and done palette i'm going to touch up the dark brown right in here and into the crease but I can already tell this is uh, going to be a nice alternative to that because I feel like these tones are a little more, a little more neutral. I wouldn't say that they were cool tones, maybe slightly, but I would say neutral would be a good word to describe it. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this shade. This shade is called Devotion. And I'm just taking that on a little BH Cosmetics pencil brush, and we're going to do the lighter shimmer in the inner corner. Same brush, I just cleaned it. We're going to go into this shade, and I am going to spray it. All right, guys. Ooh, that is so pretty. I am going to pop off camera to take care of the finishing touches. I'm going to wear the new e.l.f. mascara, so I still want to try it out. Um, but I'm just going to do some liner, mascara, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. All right, guys, so here is the completed look number one. I really love the way it turned out. I did some Rare Beauty black eyeliner on the top lash line. I said that I was going to be using the new lash extender. This is the new tubing mascara from e.l.f. So far, so good. It did a great job yesterday, so I think it's going to do an equally great job today. And then um, to brighten up that lower waterline, I went in with this Essence Gel Liner. It's their Stay and Play Gel Liner. This one is in the shade uh, Silky, what is it? Silky Nude. I love it. That was quick and easy. I want to do uh, what I said I was going to do, like pack the dark brown all over the lid for the second look and really create a smoky eye. So let's move over to the left side and we'll start working on the second look. I'm using my BK203 and I'm just going to pack this all over the lid. And then I'll take a rougher 13 and slightly blend it into the crease. Now I'm going in with that rougher 13 and I'm just going to use this to shape the look and lightly blend. Now you could always use one of the other lighter shades as your transition. Sometimes I just I just don't do that when I'm packing a dark shadow. I just use the shadow itself and when I lightly blend upwards it kind of shears it out. So it works for me. It's enough. And I think it's a little a little faster and easier. You just got to Make sure you use a small tool, a small brush for this, because if not, you'll end up looking like you have a black eye. Okay, now what I'm going to do is with my finger, I'm going to pick up this center shimmer, and I'm just going to focus it on the center of the lid. 
So that was quick and easy. And look, we have a little fast halo eye right there. Just touching up the brown around the shimmer. How quick and easy was that? And that's what I need when I'm getting ready to go to work. I'm not out of focus. Every time I look, it looked like I was out of focus. I hope I'm not out of focus. Okay. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, I am, I'm going to continue on with the dark shade for the lower lash line. This is our dramatic look using a refer 03. Now on that same brush, I'm just picking up the same shimmer shadow that I used for the center of the lid. And this is the look. How fast was that? And I used every single shade in this palette. I am going to take care of the finishing touches and then I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number two. I love it. This dramatic smoky eye, but it was so fast and so easy to create. All I did was I used the same Rare Beauty eyeliner for the top lash line. For the lower waterline, I used this dark brown liner that came in the Wet n Wild and Marilyn Monroe collection. Same mascara. And that's it. I love both of these. It was so easy to use this entire collection. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video. And I'm going to share with you guys my final thoughts. All right, guys. So two looks later, blush is on. I really enjoyed this mini My Dream collection from Natasha Denona. I thought I would. I knew I would. It's always nice to have like a small little travel friendly neutral palette because when you're on the go, when you're on vacation, maybe you're going to New Orleans or Las Vegas or New York and you really don't want to fuss with the colorful makeup. You just want something neutral for during the day. Maybe it's just a work trip that you're going on. These would be perfect for that. And I hope some of you got these in your stockings or maybe they're on their way to you because all of the shades perform so well. And I really, I'm going to get a lot of use out of this blush. This blush right here reminded me of the one I just picked up from Physicians Formula. This is new as well. This is the Butter Globe uh, blush. It is a bronzer and blush in one. Although I feel like some of these have a little bit of a sheen to them. But this, when I wear it, reminds me so, so much of this new one from Natasha Denona. And let me just put them up here. I wouldn't say that one is a dupe for the other price wise because this one is like 16 bucks I think and then this one is only 20 so I mean you know the price is pretty much the same but they also give a very similar effect to the complexion um, I think if you skipped out on the larger my dream palette um, you know these are very different shades. These are all very different shades. I'm not seeing that shade Nurture. Oh yeah, here it is right here. There it is, Nurture. So that is the only repeat shade in the mini palette. But if these are shades that you work with more on a daily basis, then you might not feel the need to pick this one up. This one came out last year. And then this one is new for 2023 going into 2024. I like it. I like the entire collection. I really love the lip products that were released last year. I do have a lip liner. I just didn't put it on today. Um, but I thought that that entire collection was really cool, really nice. And I'm going to give this mini collection two thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of this collection, guys. Which look was your favorite? Are you team one, team two, none, all? Sound off in the comments down below. Also, let me know which side, which look do you think I'm going to be wearing to work today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.